Hello friends, Arthur Woods here again, the resident artist of Greater Earth. This is Communication 16009. And it's a very exciting day here because we are planning to launch uh, our rocket, our vehicle to the Greater Earth space station and it's carrying with it uh, a, a space capsule full of supplies including the art supplies that I talked about in my last communication. Well actually we we were planning to launch immediately after that communication but on the same day as you probably heard in the news there was a problem in the Space Center in Florida where SpaceX rocket the Falcon 9 which was on the launch pad had a failure and did indeed explode. Now, nobody knows what happened even several days after the event, and it's a very strange situation because their rocket was not in its launch phase. It was in a test phase. It was not expected to launch for a day or two later, and they were just running some tests. And unfortunately, and this occurs very rarely, the rocket did explode, and not only was the rocket lost, but also the payload that was on it. This is very expensive because I think... Uh, a Falcon 9 rocket today cost about $60 million, and the satellite that was on it cost over $200 million, and so that is a huge loss. And uh, the satellite was leased, it was a communication satellite that was leased to Facebook, and they wanted to provide internet services in the southern part of Africa. So their program has also suffered a setback, and I hope they will re recover, and I'm sure that uh, that Musk's team, his uh, SpaceX team, will soon recover because they've had so many successes, and we wish them all the best. Of course, events like this impact space programs all around the world, including ours, because the technicians, uh, they immediately are aware that there could be some kind of uh, new uh, problem that they should check for and they check their own systems to make sure that their systems are 100% in order because as I mentioned it's very expensive and you do not want any failures. Now for me it's especially uh, of a concern because I'm planning to get on a very similar rocket uh, perhaps on the next launch from our space center so I want to make sure that uh, our launch vehicle and our space vehicle is 100% in order and that we have a successful launch because we do not have the resources to absorb too many failures. Anyway, uh, I have been assured by the launch controllers that everything is indeed ready to go. And as soon as I see some movement on the, on the launch pad, we will have to switch over and see the lift off. Now what's going to happen is uh, once the launch occurs, uh, we will see the satellite actually rendezvous with the Greater Earth Space Station, and that should be truly exciting. And uh, uh, I will return after this happens and give you a few comments about uh, the success of our, uh, of our event today. So I really thank you for watching and sticking with me so long. Uh, it's very exciting today, and uh, I'm, I can't wait to see this happen, but it's it, indeed it's going to happen. And so uh, that means that my trip to the Greater Earth Space Station is also getting much closer. So let's sit back and fasten our seatbelts and watch the countdown. Roll for ignition. T minus 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, we have main engine ignition, two, one, and lift off.
Mission accomplished. The crew on the Greater Earth Space Station has sent confirmation that everything went smoothly, the rendezvous was a success, and our supplies have indeed reached the space station. Also, our ground controllers here have confirmed that everything went as planned and that they are very confident that our next launch will also be successful. From my point of view, I have to say I thought this was very beautiful and I hope you agree that we can call this some art in space. Thank you for watching. This is Arthur Woods, Communication 16009. Goodbye for now.